city council, sometimes at the suggestion of the mayor, sometimes at the suggestion of individuals. Uh, people always try to put things like selling cigarettes in the context of jobs uh, and whether or not it helps or hurts stores. Um, I think that is just uh, so outrageously misplaced. This is an issue of whether we're going to kill people. Uh, this uh, century, a billion people will die from smoking around the world. And uh, we don't want any of the people that die to be New Yorkers. That's the one thing we can do. Uh, and the people that uh, try to change the argument to an economic one uh, really ought to look in a mirror and, and be ashamed. I mean, I just think that you shouldn't be smoking, even though I do smoke still. Um, 21 is probably a good age. I mean, you can't drink anyway when you're 20, until you're 21, technically. So as long as they can enforce it, I don't know how they will. It's pretty hard, but um, I think it'd be a great idea to move it along outside of New York as well. Like if younger kids want to smoke, they're going to smoke regardless. So why punish? I don't know. I just feel like if younger kids are going to smoke, they're going to smoke anyway. I know plenty of people that have been smoking since they were 16, 14 years old, and are still smoking now. No, because uh, what I notice is they'll find somebody else older to pick them up for them. And I notice a lot of stores still on check. I see people going to stores. And young people go in stores and buy cigarettes and they don't ask for IDs, so, um, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it was too easy. I walked into a 7-Eleven and got cigarettes, tried them for the first time. It was just too easy for me at the age of 18. I don't even think I was 18, I was 17. But um, I had not been carded, just went in, bought a pack of Parliament lights, and it was simple as that. And then I had been hooked ever since. Thanks, 